Hi, I'm Jack from the Zano Controls technical team and I'm going to show you how to install a Z-Bar remote dimming pack. I'm also going to show you how to get the very best out of your install by using three unique features – the minimum, the start and the maximum settings. In this instance, I'll be showing you how to install it with an up and down retractive switch. If you're using a different switch, you will need to watch one of the other videos. If you're unsure about anything, just give our friendly team a call. So, let's get started. First of all, isolate the power at the mains. Once the power's off, find the joint box and the relevant circuit. When the circuit's isolated and you're satisfied that it's safe, fix your Z-Bar securely beside the box. Now you're ready to wire it up. The Z-Bar LED has an 8-core cable, which is colour-coded and numbered. No matter what type of controller you use, the first four are connected the same way. Take the green and yellow cable and connect it to the earth terminal. Then take the brown cable marked 1 and connect it to the live. Next take the blue marked 2 and connect to the neutral. The grey cable 3 is for the live feed to your lamps. This switch requires a 3 core and earth cable so make sure you have that already at your switch point. Now for a retractive switch we're not going to need the white and purple cables 6 and 7 but these need to be individually isolated in suitable terminal blocks. Next, take the red cable marked 4 and connect to the grey switch line. Then take the black cable 5 and terminate with the black switch line. Take the brown conductor from your switch line and connect it into the permanent live. Now to install the switch. Take the brown conductor and connect to the common terminal. Connect the black conductor to terminal 1 and the grey conductor to terminal 2. Make sure these conductors have the correct brown sleeving as they will become live. Switch terminals can vary so you may need to reverse these last two conductors so that your switch dims in the correct direction. Also be absolutely sure to terminate your earth conductor according to regulations. Now fix your switch back to the wall or switch box securely and safely ensuring all terminations are safe. Switch the power back on and you're ready to put the dimmer into programming mode. Start by turning the lights on and hold to reach full brightness. Then release and immediately press and hold to reach minimum. The lights will flash once. This indicates that the dimmer's in programming mode. You're now ready to set the minimum level. Press to choose the light level then release and wait for 5 seconds. The lights will now flash once more to show that it's been set. Now we'll set the start level. You have 5 seconds from the last flash to begin. Select the level for the lamps to turn on, then release and wait 5 seconds. The lights will flash again. The setting has been saved. We've introduced this because some LEDs simply won't come on at a very low level. The Z-Bar enables you to set the lights at a slightly higher level for when you first start them so the LEDs get enough power to come on evenly, but then allows dimming down to the lower minimum level. This helps to achieve the very best dimming range for your install. So what about the boost level? Well, we found that some LEDs require so much energy to start up that we've added another great feature called the boost setting. If you find the lamps do need this, simply set the start level to maximum and the boost is activated, giving the lamps an extra kickstart to get going, after which they will smoothly adjust and operate as normal. Finally, we have the maximum level. This controls the upper limit of your lamps. As before, you have 5 seconds from the last flash to begin. Select the level, then wait for the final flash and you are finished. And don't forget, if you would like to change any of the levels you've set, simply follow the steps again to put the dimmer back into programming mode and readjust. To skip a setting, just wait for the 5 second flash to pass and continue on to the next stage. Easy. All of these selections will be stored in the Z-Bar. Adding or removing controllers won't affect them, they will even remain stored if there's a power cut. 
If you want to dim more lamps, you can add more Z bars to the circuit. You can also connect multiple controllers. Simply make sure you connect them in parallel to the first one. And that's it. Another fit and forget solution, only available from Zano Controls.